Thank you everyone for joining me this morning. Isn't it great to have that introduction? Um, but I'm nervous as hell. Um, so just so that you know, I've pulled out the new kid power, which is Valor for Children, but I love, love, love the smell of it. So I'm just going to oil myself up. And if you haven't got this, it is the most exquisite perfume on the planet. It has got orange, vanilla and Valor in there. And it is like a popsicle orange dream so anyway so that's my new favorite um and i just love it love it but great for this so okay so thank you for joining me this sunday morning so um i had the pleasure of um wanting to bring to you bloom from the inside out and something that i'm really super passionate um i've been obsessed with skincare um since i was 12 years old and isn't that bizarre so but where we used to go we used to live in geraldton and um, before we'd go to the beach my girlfriends would come over and they'd be going what the hell is she doing she's blow drying her hair she's putting lipstick on she's covering herself in freaking everything just to go to the beach and you know those days for me have really served me well because um my my aunt who passed away and my mum were really amazing they were great beauty advocates and really good beauty coaches in my world and they would teach me about you know getting dressed to look you know you know how it makes you feel as a woman inside but also protecting our skin so you know putting lipstick for me was really good because it protected my lips because it had cocoa butter in there so it was all these little things that I was taught um, and I'd come back from the beach and the girls would go what the hell is she doing in that shower and I'd come out and I'd put all my moisturizers on from head to toe and all those wonderful things. But the skin is not just the face. It is truly from head to toe. And we have to take that time to look after it. So today I want to show you how you too can have beautiful, radiant looking skin and how important the skin plays in our everyday wellness. So today I'm going to address some of those major factors um, that challenge us with our skin. So one is sagging skin, all right. Um, the other one's the fine lines and the wrinkles, the lack of elasticity. So that means that if you're like me, you put on weight and then you lose weight or your body fluctuates, um, mine doesn't go as dramatically as I'd like it to, but it's a working progress. Um, and dullness and dryness, it does affect that because if you have a rapid weight loss, all of a sudden you're going to have this skin that's sagging. So today I want to teach you or, or share with you some tips that I think will help support that as well. So let's think of your skin as a building. Well, it's your home um, and it's your temple, as I like to call it. It's my temple. But actually the skin is what holds your temple and your building together. So it is the largest organ in the body and it's the most important to me, I believe. And I'm going to share with you why. So the skin's made up of three layers. So it has the epidermis, it has a dermal, uh, the dermis, and it has the hypodermis. So it's made up of three. So I want you to think of um, a mattress, a big feather top mattress, and you've got three layers on your mattress, okay? Um, you've got your blankets on top, and then you've got your um, fluffy top mattress, topper, and then you have your mattress. Um, the same thing happens with our body, my torso. I've got many extra blankets going on on my torso. So I do know that um, when I get rid of and shed some of these blankets, that there'll be some abs underneath there. So anyway, so I want you to think of your skin as the same as that. So what does the definition of epidermis mean? So epidermis comes from the ancient Greek word meaning outer, okay? And the ancient Greek word derma means skin. So it's the outer skin layer. So it encapsulates everything to our body, our skeletal system, our organs, all those sorts of things. So the epidermis is the most important part of the skin. Why? Because it protects it keeps the body hydrated. Um, it produces new cells. So I want you to think of your skin like my pearl shell here. Isn't that gorgeous? I got this from Broom. But can you see all the layers there? Okay. And this is what we're going to be talking about today is getting that skin back to that beautiful luster 
but what's happening with these outer layers, all right? Um, so the outer skin. So the epidermis is responsible for um, hydration, produces the new skin cells. Sorry, I might have already done that, but it also determines the color. So when we talk about rust spots, which we're going to talk about today, and we see the melanin coming through, that is what's responsible for that outer layer. What's also responsible is that um, once we produce the new the outer so basically the skin's continuously shedding all right so think of you going on a weight loss program and you're taking off all those extra layers that's what we want to do with the skin because as the skin repairs itself the cells come to the surface and then sheds off all right so it's really really important to look after that outer layer of the skin so what happens with the second layer of the skin? Well, that is the epidermis. And the epidermis is the thinnest layer of the skin. Okay, so that's your fluffy top mattress. Okay, and the dermis, um, sorry, not the epidermis. Um, sorry, the epidermis is the thinnest part of the skin. The dermis, which is your dermal layer, is your second part of the skin. That is what can, that's where the collagen and the elastin and the supportive skin overall structure is. So it's that, that inner layer, okay? So that's the middle part of the skin. And that is where all your connective tissue um, and your nerve endings and your sweat glands, your oil glands, all that. And it's also connected to the um, hypodermis as well. So you've got your three layers of the skin and they all play different parts of it. But the middle layer, which we're going to talk about more so today, is where um, your collagen and elastin is. And that is what causes that dip into the skin as we age. So that's where the sagginess comes into. That's where the elastin starts to drop. Um, that's where the collagen starts to break down and get thinner and thinner and thinner. I remember when I was a little girl, I was probably about 15 and I went to my grandmother's house and she was probably, I can't remember the age, 70 plus, maybe, maybe closer to 80. And I remember touching her arm and looking at it and I could see all her blood vessels and nerve endings and everything. And I was like, oh my, cause I'm Dutch. And um, she said, yes, that's what happens. When you get older, your skin becomes like glad wrap. I was like, oh my God, I'm mortified. And I think Obviously, this is another reason why I like to look after myself because I believe why on earth do you want to thin that skin out by having these, you know, um, you know, radical facelifts and, and, you know, chemical peels and that where you're going to thin, thin, thin the skin even quicker, then go outdoors and especially living in a southern hemisphere in, like Australia, where we are susceptible to lots of UV damage, you don't want to be going out there with all these beautiful, um, fresh new skin cells, and then get hammered by the sun, which is a which, as we know, is a trigger for UV damage. All right. So then um, the main function of the dermis is to protect, it's the cushioning, like I said before, but it's the mechanics of when we get injured. And it also provides the most nourishment to the epidermis. So the dermis layer where we, where we talk about collagen and um, elastin and stuff is what feeds the epidermis. So that outer shell that outer layer of epidermis needs to be protected constantly. And I wanted to share some of this with you because when we talk about skincare and we talk about the supplements that we take within, what is this all doing? And this is what this is all doing. So every time you are taking a supplement or you're using a skincare product, this is all helping those three layers of that beautiful skin that we have. Now, the dermal layer also too um, is where um, it's vital because it's located, but it also um, is a connection. So with the hypodermis, which is your bottom layer of the skin, this has many um, important functions because it stores the energy of the skin. It connects the dermal layer of the skin to the muscles and the bones, all right? It insulates the skin, uh, the body. Um, so you can tell, um, and one of those things is that it also has the fat cells in there. 
So when we talk about cellulite and things like that. So as, you're, as you age, your hypodermis, which is your bottom layer, decreases in size and, start, and the skin starts to sag, but it also carries the most fat content in the body as well. Unfortunately, um, it's a storage area. Um, so it's an energy storage, but it also contains, that's where it stores the fat. It also gives protection. So the hypodermis is the third layer of the skin where it gives us protection. So think about your butt when you sit on a chair, um, it's, it gives that cushioning to protect the organs and the bones and the skeletal system. And it gives that cushioning. I've got lots of that actually going on, but uh, we'll talk about that for another time. <laughs> Okay, so it also gives a protection um, and uh, yeah, sorry, talk about that. Okay, so one of the things was is when we talk about the epidermis, going back to the top outer layer, um, some of the um, skin conditions that we get from um, damaged epidermis, which is the outer layer of the skin, is that it's more susceptible to scaly skin um, peeling or eroding, dry or cracked skin, dark spots or growths that change in colour. Now, <clears throat> I remember as a young girl, not only by putting moisturiser on my body every day from head to toe, but it also allows me to check every single thing that is going on in my skin whether my skin's dry, whether I have um, freckles that have changed, moles that have changed in colour. Do you know what I mean? Like these are things that you have to do on a daily basis um, so that you're checking to see because your body and your face and your skin is the dashboard to what is going on internally into the body. We're like a car and they're flashing, flashing, flashing. And if we're not taking any notice of what's going on, then, you know, we have unfortunately the highest rate of skin cancer in the world. That is not something Australians need to be proud of. But what we do know is that we can change that, okay? And that starts with you as a coach. You then, you know, if you've got grandchildren or you've got children of your own, you can help educate them. So I truly believe that we are all coaches um, and that we can help our tribal people um, you know, check what's going on in their bodies. Now, the other thing that um, is very common conditions that happen in the epidermis is acne, boils, dandruff, eczema, and melanomas, okay? So can you see by what we do on a daily basis, this all is preventative health for your skin because it can lead to many other issues as well. All right, cool. All right, so basically um, the main part when we talk about blooming from the inside and out and us as a aging, um, so to address sagging, elastin, dry skin, dullness, those sorts of things, the body lacks collagen. So what happens is, is that after the age of 20 to 30, the body starts producing less collagen. So it produces itself, but it, it starts to break down. And the reason is, is because we are in an environmental, um, constantly UV damage stops the body from producing collagen. Smoking is the biggest one. Sugar is even bigger. So I've been off sugar since last Monday. And I tell you, it is the hardest thing. I gave up smoking like 20 years ago. But I tell you, giving up sugar is harder than that. Um, and so the major contributor in um, the collagen not being um, produced in our body is sugar. So that's pretty scary, isn't it? But the great news is, is that the body can actually absorb, uh, we can get collagen back from our food again. So I'm going to talk about supplements on the inside. So because remember, we're looking at this outer shell, okay? So we can have dry skin, dehydrated skin, oily skin, uh, normal skin types. So how do you tell if you have dry skin? Well, the common factors, particularly in winter, the body doesn't produce oil. 
okay? We do in summer, we sweat and we produce more sebum, which keeps the, the skin uh, mantle um, much more, you know, moist, okay? But in winter, we don't sweat. So we don't produce oil. So the skin dries out. Now, people get confused with dry skin and dehydrated skin. Now, dry skin is a lack of omegas, okay? So we're talking about a lack of oil production. Dehydrated skin is a lack of water. Now, the thing is dry skin can be dehydrated as well, okay? Predominantly, the cells are made up of water and we need instant hydration. So to look younger instantly, go drink one litre of water and you will notice a huge difference, particularly if you're going out that night. But how do you tell you have dehydrated skin? Grab your hands now and gently just pinch it together, the skin. And if you see the lines going down that way and across, that is dehydrated skin. When it looks like a crocodile. So if you're looking in the mirror and you see that your skin's looking dehydrated, then you know you need water-based products and you need to drink a lot of fluid internally, all right? Now, how do you tell you have dry skin? Well, when you look into the mirror and you see redness, when you see redness in the skin, it is generally dry, which means you need more omega-3s and you get that from our amazing omega giants. And whoops, I'm putting it in front of my face. Um, omega, omega giants, okay? So up your omega giants. And also too, when you have dry skin, um, oh my God, I just lost my train of thought. I was on a roll then and I got sidetracked. See what happens? I can't multitask very good. Um, so Amigas, oh, and also too, when there's redness in the skin, particularly if you get on the decolletage or that, you generally have too much acid in the body as well. All right. So I know myself when I've had too many acid forming foods, I get a lot of fine wrinkles along my upper lip just above my lip, you know, where people go, oh, they're smoker's lines. No, they come and go. Um, and that's when you have too much acid. So alkaline is fabulous to have one teaspoon at nighttime, every night. And that counteracts the pH in our body. All right. So remember our skin's like a scale. And so when it's too acid, all sorts of things go out of whack. All right. But one of them is um, obviously the dryness is from your omegas. But acid forming foods cause wrinkles in the skin. Um, and I notice it more on top of my upper lip. I see those little fine lines. Um, and also to um, spots. So when our body gets, sometimes you can see what we call rust spots or we see um, age spots, sun spots, you know, darkness patch into the skin. Now that generally, um, or you'll hear things like cloasma that um, pregnant women get, well, that's a change of hormones. And my beautiful friend, Kylie Bright, and that's on, um, she also, we had that discussion that sometimes she gets these um, spots that come up um, and then they disappear as well. So, you know, we know that um, when our hormones are irregular and that's also to the hypodermis, um, is the hormone regulator and part of the skin. So, and also the immunity. So the third layer of the hypodermis, which I didn't mention before, um, is your responsible for the hormones of the skin and the body um, and the immunity of the skin. So can you see by investing in skincare and supplements for your skin, the layers of that skin, what you're going to improve in your overall health of the skin and the body. All right. So oily skin. Now, generally oily skin, um, we have as we're teenagers, because particularly young boys and, you know, young females as well, is that our testosterone and our hormones are at at starting to ravish. So the overproduction of sebum and their skin becomes very, very oily. What happens to if they're, you find that they are a little bit smelly um, or have a lot of bit of odor, then that's because of the sugar in their diet. 
So these are factors that cause with acne as well. So what happens is, is that when they eat a lot of sugar, the teenage boys, which they do, oh my God, my son's got smelly feet and bad odor and I can't stand to go into his room. That's because sugar turns into bacteria. All right. And that's what feeds it and causes the odor. If you help eliminate the sugar out of their diet, they also will start to uh, reduce the odor in their body as well. So sugar equals bacteria. You can see sugar does breaks down collagen. There's so many nasty things that it does in our bodies. And I'm talking about refined sugar. So, you know, your, your general refined sugar, not the sugars and the fructose that comes from our fruits and all those sorts of things. All right. So oily skin, <clears throat> how do you tell you got oily skin? You have large pores and you have them generally in the T zone, but you will also have those in the um, on your cheeks, okay? So sometimes people get, and even um, oily skins can get dehydrated as well, all right? Um, and also going back to dry skin, you have tiny or very small pores, okay? So redness, flakiness, um, and you need to exfoliate more often. So I'm going to go back to that. Combination skin generally has an oily T-zone. So you get a lot of oil producing down that T-zone and acne skin, right? So let's talk about acne skin. So acne skin is an overproduction of sebum. Um, and, you know, that's when we look at um, working from the inside as well. There's a lot of bacteria that are happening in the skin. And generally, um, our livers are over, over full, you know, like we have. Um, and so what happens is, is that the body can't digest the amount of fat content going into the body. So people used to say, oh, you get pimples from pizzas. We don't actually get pimples from pizza. You get it from the cheese, okay? So you don't actually get it from the pizza. The same with chocolate. You don't actually get the pimples from chocolate or the cacao. You actually get it from the milk solid content that's in the chocolate, all right? So the thing is, is that we can have the best skincare in the world, but if you're not working from the inside out and working as a, a, a team, you know, within your body and helping that temple put all those things together, then it's no good just using good skincare because you're going to go, oh, well, that didn't work. So I wanted to address some of these things because I think it's super, super important. Um, and unfortunately, dairy plays a massive part, you know, ice cream, chocolate, um, cheese, all those sorts of things um, when we're talking about acne for teenagers or even adult acne as well. All right, so there are your four, um, you know, generally um, talking about skin. And the other one I wanted to address before we start getting into um, what we can do to help work on these things is um, sensitive skins. So I have super, super sensitive skins and that's because I'm highly allergic to, um, well, not highly allergic, but I'm intolerant to a lot of um, outdoor environments and things that I put onto my skin. So people say, oh, I can't use that product because I'm super sensitive. Well, generally, if you have used conventional skincare that has had chemicals in it, so we're talking about anything that's had like propylene glycol, anything that's got a high alcohol content in it, um, or say, for example, you had someone that was using a product like Proactive, which has like, um, oh my God, I've, even, I've just forgot the name of it for a second. I'll think of it in a second. But anyway, something that's got um, oxybenzone, that's it. So very active ingredients that are very toxic to the body. The skin will react as you put our products on there. And the reason being is that what happens is, is that any products we've used in the past sits well especially if they've got heavy metals and chemicals and toxins will sit into the hypodermis layer of the skin where the fat stores the product so what happens is it's for me over time I worked with a cosmetic company and skincare which I thought had clean products where I actually I didn't know any different um, and over time they stored in my body so the more I used our Young Living products, constantly I was reacting to them because what happens is it's not our skincare that reacts onto the skin. It is the, the chemicals that were in there. 
So when we talk about using supplements from the inside out, a lot of our products like Ninja Red and Sulfazyme help the body eradicate what currently was in there from previous. Does that make sense? So what we're doing is that we're working on a two-way street where we are getting rid of um, current, you know, the body's constantly um, getting rid of heavy metals, chemicals, toxins that are being stored in the body. So I wanted to, to share some of this because as you start to introduce new products into your um, regime, sometimes the skin will go, uh-oh, I'm not happy with this. Um, like for me, when I was using deodorant for the first time, if you've been using um, deodorants that are aluminium based and Rexonas and all those sorts of things, and then all of a sudden you go and try and put a rock salt underneath there, I'm telling you, your arms are on fire and you have to sleep like this for a week. Yeah. Um, and that's and that sort of helps a little bit when we're talking about the skin. So I want you to eliminate and add a product at a time. So the skin gets used to that and then we can see what's going on, all right? Your skin is something that you have to monitor every day. And the thing is, is that think of it as a house. So you go around your home and you go, well, I need to light dust here. I need to oil the, um, the I need to oil the timber or I need to do a deep clean or a spring clean or anything like that. Um, the same is with your body. It needs something different every day. So if we talk about the skincare today and the supplements, that may not be something that you'll be on next season, okay? So going into summer and that sort of stuff, all right? So every day, just judge what your body needs is the same as when you go to get your oils. What is it that my body needs right now, okay? All right, so the wonderful news is that the body can bioavailable add collagen into the body, all right? So why is collagen such a big big thing? Well, remember when I talked about my grandmother's um, skin and how it thin, thin, thinned? Well, the collagen is what can plump up instantly, okay? Um, and it plays such an important part because collagen does so many different things to the body. So when we choose Young Living chose liquid marine collagen. Now, the reason why is that collagen in a liquid form has a bioavailability, uh, it can bio, no, it can absorb the body much easily than it can a bovine or a powder or a porcine, which is a pig-based um, powder. So liquid collagen, what they did was they took peptin collagen, and you can look up the company, which are one of the best, well, actually they are the leaders in liquid coll marine collagen in the world um, in, from France. And they added um, green tea and citrus oils to it so that the body was, a, a was able to absorb it. And telling you from myself personally, being using it, I cannot go without it. When you look up peptin collagen and do some research on what marine collagen does for the body, it doesn't just help with our skin. It helps with our connective tissue when it comes to healing the body. So we're going to talk about that in a moment. It also helps the body's immune system. It also helps the body's um, um, to heal when we're talking about skeletals, when we're talking about um, type one collagen, which is what the liquid marine collagen is, it is the glue that holds everything together, all right? So think of it as a scaffolding for your body, for the skin, and it actually glues, it's the basic building block um, that the body needs to stay healthy. That's it. <laughs> Um, and it plays an important part. I absolutely love it. Um, why does it come in one bottle like this? Well, fish oil, as you know, can go rancid very quickly. Um, and so having it in a shot like this um, every day keeps the freshness to optimal levels. All right. My girls are 21. They have one of these every day. And some people say, oh, should you take collagen every day or not? There's lots of different things out there. 
However, for myself personally, I take it every day. A, vanity. Yes, it could be. Um, but B, I love the way that it helps support my joints, my ligaments, my muscles. Um, and particularly with me, I, I was a netballer, so my knees are not the best. Um, and you, you know what I mean? As you get older, um, you get over that 50 hill and guess what? Everything goes up from there. I'm telling you, just uh, joking. Um, but um, I love the way that it supports my body. I love how it helps improve my skin, my hair my nails. Um, I just absolutely love what it does for us as well. Um, it also has zinc in there and it has 13 milligrams of zinc. Now zinc also, we know there's a lot out there about zinc that helps um, support the immunity, um, but is, is a very big player in how the body absorbs the collagen in. It actually needs zinc to absorb collagen into the body. So um, it's amazing. Now, why um, also to how else can we support collagen production in our body by drinking your um, bloom collagen, which has your 10 milligrams of peptin collagen in there, but also to the face doesn't have doesn't get exercise. So um, the rest of the body, have you ever noticed when you see athletes and that they've got these beautiful um, glowing skin tight that, you know, they don't have saggy skin because they are um, exercising the body. Well, the face doesn't exercise. I probably do because I talk so bloody much. Um, but um, so, I, you know, my lips, uh, <laughs> I keep it firm like that. But no, the other way that you can help tighten up um, the muscles and the skin and prevent sagging and that and help produce collagen, remember the body produces its own as well, is by using a gua sha, okay? Um, which is a tool, which is a, um, a, they're beautiful crystal tools. We have uh, the Young Living one that we got before and hopefully they'll come back sometime. And we also have the gorgeous heart one. You can pick up any good quality ones. And by doing um, your daily practice, okay, um, we've got lots of great videos in it. It really helps tighten and move everything that's in the skin, all right? Because remember, it doesn't exercise, so we need to keep that, that nice and taut, all right? So that's another way that it does. Now, okay, so a couple of other supplements. We've talked about Omega Dyes. Look, I can't, Omega Dyes is one of the most amazing products that we have all um, love for many many reasons not only does it help with our skin it's got the omegas in there particularly um, it helps with our brain health because predominantly our brain is um, fatty tissue so the body needs extra oil in there um, dryness definitely anyone out there with dryness get onto your omega dyes um, <clears throat> The other one I actually love for skin, even though it is just for, uh, it has type 2 collagen in there, is BLM, which I really, really love. Um, and it, it, for anyone that is sensitive to shellfish, they can't actually take this one. Um, so it's not for vegetarians. But however, um, people that are vegetarian can take the bloom. So that's, that's really good, just so that you know. Um, vegan? Vegan, sorry. Vegans. I get them mixed up. Um, so, but you can't, anyone allergic to shellfish can't actually take the BLM, which is your type 2 collagen. But that also too helps, I, I love taking that for my skin as well, um, and it plays an important part. Um, the body actually has um, three, uh, six, there's actually six different types of um, collagen in our body. Did you know that? There's type 1, type 2, type 3, there's 4, 5 and 6. Um, according to Dr. Ollie. So um, I found that really fascinating. So the more um, that we can take, the more we can, um, which is much better. Now I'm just uh, just checking on, someone's just asked a question, but I think Jeremy's answering some of those things for us. Wonderful. Now, <clears throat> the biggest contributor to healthy glowing skin um, and turning back time is your Ningxia Red. This is particular especially for teenagers as well. The first thing I put anyone with um, anything skin um, is sulfazyme because sulfazyme has MSM in there as well and Ningxia Red. 
they play a huge important part in skin, nails and health. Um, skin, whoops, sorry, skin, nails and hair. Um, and who does not love Ningxia Red? I could go on ages for this, but I'm not going to because I want to get onto the skincare for you guys. Um, but brilliant, brilliant product for the skin. And my last one, if you want to take your skin to the next level and help protect that outer layer, is Master Formula. Since taking this, my skin has completely changed. Not only um, the reasons are is that Master Formula has A, B, C, and D vitamins. Now, in our world, we don't get enough micronutrients, which the skin needs to perform to its ultimate, um, to our, you know, its ultimate. And the reason is, is that um, vitamin A, B, and C, we need to get from our foods. And unfortunately, in our world today, we don't have enough of these in our, in our food content because um, our soils have been depleted. So if you want to change your skin um, and start to feed the nutrients back into those layers that we need to look after, Master Formula is brilliant. So do some research on Master Formula. Um, but since taking that, my skin's completely changed um, and I absolutely love it. And not only that, it, the energy content is amazing. So it gives me the energy to go out walking. Remember, I'm trying to vacate some of those people that are in my, um, staying in my warehouse. So um, it's giving me the extra energy um, to start getting rid of some of that um, storage that I've got going on, that fat storage, remember, in the hypodermis that we're trying to get rid of. They do say that um, summer bodies are made in winter. So let's see that's going to happen. All right. So let's get back to the, so there's some of the things you can do internally. So let's talk about how we can start shedding some of these layers, okay, so that our skin ends up looking like this beautiful pearl shell. Well, Young Living designed a three-piece system, which is great for men and women, called Bloom Skincare. Now, this was developed to address common skin concerns such as dark spots, dullness, a lack of radiance, dehydrated and uneven skin tone. These are caused by multiple factors that include genetics, um, exposure to UV um, rays, heat, humidity, air pollution and air conditioning. Well, let me tell you, Australia ticks all those boxes, okay? So you can see why we need extra in our skincare to um, combat some of those things. Now, it was developed with 10 essential oils. Now, the base of it is vetiver, blue cypress, divana, royal Hawaiian sandalwood, clove, jasmine, carrot seed, spearmint, uh, geranium, and frankincense. So I truly believe we are rusting like a car from the inside out. So when we don't have a lot of antioxidants in our we are oxidizing. So, you know, when you put an apple outdoors and you take the outer shell of that apple, um, the outer layer of the apple, it oxidizes and goes brown. Well, that's what happens with our skin. And that's why as the malocytes come to the surface, they're exposed. And because we are so exposed to those UV damage in the sun, it acts as a trigger. So, the six steps to healthy skin is daily cleansing, toning, exfoliating or stimulating. So exfoliation or stimulating your collagen for me can be either um, use an exfoliator or you can use your gua sha every day. Also, hydrating the skin is super important because you're adding water in there. Protecting and moisturizing. All right, so some say there's five, I believe there's six. Now, how often do we do this? Every day. So if you're not exfoliating your skin, use your gua sha every day and stimulate the skin. So it's getting its exercise. Can you see that? So for me, I exfoliate every second day. If you've got dry skin, you need to do it 
exactly about that time. If you've got super oily skin, maybe twice a week, all right? But see how you are. It depends on what you do, whether you work indoors, whether you work outdoors, whether it's summer, whether it's winter, you know, just take into all these things as a consideration. All right, so when we talk about the, this beautiful um, cleansing, uh, this beautiful bloom, what it's designed to do is to even the skin tone, all right? So it evens and it hydrates the skin. So remember, all skin types can be dehydrated. However, if you have extra dryness to the skin, you would add an extra product into this program, all right? So you then would use products like art intensive moisturizer into it, you would add extra things into it. But as a basic program to do every day, I suggest the bloom cleanser, the essence, the lotion with an additional exfoliator, which would be your satin mint scrub. Okay, because what happens, have you ever put butter on a piece of toast? Okay, and it's like, oh, it's not absorbing, it's not absorbing in. What happens is when you put your moisturizer or a lotion on top of dry skin cells, which look dull, it can't penetrate into the skin. The skin is a very smart, complex machine, really. Um, and it can, if you constantly got dead, dry skin on there and you're whacking all this moisturizer, guess what? It's only going to sit on the surface and it actually is not going to do any beneficial to your body whatsoever or your face. All right. So it's super important to invest in a really good exfoliator, which I absolutely love. Right. So not only has this, um, so this time of the year is really good to use a um, bloom and for us all year round, particularly because it's able to um, even out that skin tone. So what happens is, is that throughout the summer, we're exposed to so much sun, but even now, like it's winter now and the sun's outside, you go outdoors, you hang the washing out, you drive to and from work every day, you go watch the kids play football, or you're sitting outside, you go for a walk on the beach. We are constantly in the Southern Hemisphere exposed to UV lights. If you work in an office, guess what? Your lighting's probably got UV in there as well. So you're constantly being um, exposed to extra um, environmental factors that are going to cause and our diets, our bad habits and our good habits. Um, hopefully there's more than good. Um, but all this is affecting how the skin is and how it's um, how, how it's improving and what's causing the sagginess, the dryness, the dullness and the dehydrated skin. So some of my top tips to show you every day is to um, every morning and night cleanse the skin, okay? I don't, if you use some of the other products um, in our range, which the Orange Blossom or the Men's 3-in-1, or if you want to um, the, art, uh, the art system, this plays a different part. Because what it does, it allows the body to gently, gently the skin to remove the outer layers, okay? Now, how does it do that? Well, we use amazing products, uh, ingredients that um, one of them in particular um, is, uh, blah, 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 blah. let me just have a look, is the... Uh, 10 essential oils that in a complex allows the body or the skin to gently remove off or dissolve, I should say dissolve off those outer cell layers, okay? So it's constantly allowing the skin to regenerate. Um, and that's because of the, the amazing complex of the um, Cher Lame Brightening Complex. All right. We've also added into this um, licorice root extract, which is known for its brightening. So when the skin's super dull uh, and dry, it looks dull, really dull. And so what we want to use is use okay. ingredients that will really lift off and lighten and brighten the skin and give it that healthy glow. We've also used um, prax seed oil in there, which helps diminish the appearance of skin spots, pigmentation, 
and blemishes while hydrating and promoting cellular renewal. How pretty cool is that? Now, if you want to get some great info, order these from Young Living. They're 10, 10 in a packet. Um, and they're really good to have to teach people around, you know, about using um, this amazing skincare system. All right. So in the morning or at night time, get a flannel. I love to use hand uh, washcloths and I get a packet of 10, um, just cotton ones. I'll pop one in the sink. I fill it up with warm water. Please don't use hot water because hot water on the face will break the capillaries. Um, add a drop of lavender, and that is amazing. So yeah, you're flying with Air Cazola today. Um, and then use a little bit of your cleanser, pop all over a damp skin, gently massage it into the skin, and then use your beautiful flannel infused with Young Living's uh, lavender oil, and then remove off, all right? Already instantly, you will feel the skin breathe, okay? you'll actually feel like um, the skin can start to breathe. It's beautiful. All right. So use that day and night and you can alternate it if you currently already have another skincare program, but start to introduce it because everyone needs to even out the skin tone. All right. Now, the next thing is um, hydration, um, which you will get from this amazing essence. Okay, now this has mica in there. So you can see the beautiful, let's have a look at sometimes, it's like a pearl essence. So mica is an ethically mined um, rock that we get from France and the USA. Um, and it adds luminosity to the skin so that your skin starts to look like that beautiful pearl shell. And it adds instant hydration like I love this stuff I actually use it all over my body so just grab some you can put some in a spray bottle as well and then just spray it onto the body um, you can even add it into your sandalwood spray if you wanted to as well and it just adds luminosity if you girls are going out at night time um, it looks beautiful on the skin because it's got that pearly shimmer effect to the skin so it's beautiful so what does this have in it well this has apple fruit extract now you all know that I love and I'm obsessed with Cleopatra and she used to um, apple extract actually is malic acid. And so um, anything that has an acid base in there, like um, milk, um, apples, anything like that, she used to bathe in there because it had a whitening effect to the skin. So malic um, or apple fruit extract as what we have is high in antioxidants and this contributes and can increase the skin's hydration by 88%. That's a lot, isn't it? Um, as well as contribute to smoother feeling skin. It also has in there Madonna Lily Extract. Now, Madonna Lily Extract helps brighten the skin, decrease the dark spots, and contribute to a more uniform tone and helps fight the signs of aging. It's also got in there green algae, so it revitalizes. It's got seawater. I didn't even know that. I don't know. I've just seen that right now. Um, it's got seawater, which has been charged with terrestrial minerals, such as manganese, zinc, iron, and lithium that remineralizes the skin. Well, there you go. I just learned something new right there and then. So that's pretty cool, hey? Um, so really, really beautiful. Now, not only do these products have amazing ingredients, they also have something in there that's called sodium hydrolorinate. Now, another one of our products that has sodium hydrolorinate, and you hear a lot about it, is an extract that comes from um, uh, blah, 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 hydrolauric acid, okay? Now, what's special about this is that... Um, it plumps up the skin with water. So you can see the hydration in there as well. So pretty cool, isn't it? And then lucky last. So how do we know, like, look at, this is a piece of raw Hawaiian sandalwood that I brought back from Hawaii when we went to the farm, all right? So you can see how dull it is. And then when you add hydration, look at the difference. 
it's pretty amazing. So it's the same thing as the skin. We're constantly dehydration, dehydrated. So by using all these amazing extra hydrating products, you can see instantly the life come back into the skin. So I use different products all day, every day. So I love the Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood. I spray it throughout the day, pop one in your handbag. Um, I love using any hydrosols that have floral waters in there because they instantly hydrate the skin, just like that piece of timber got hydrated. So we constantly need that. Now, exfoliation. I love this beautiful, uh, I use this morning and night. And I use it every second day. I have it in the shower or you can use it before. Um, and it basically has, um, I'm just thinking, uh, just checking that I say the correct thing. It's got mango seed butter in there as well as sunflower seed oil. It's also got apricot seed powder in there. So it's very gentle on the skin and you just use a beautiful um, a circular motion with lots of water over and around the skin um, and wash that off and instantly when you put your products on it will just gently um, you'll feel that they'll all absorb in and won't stay on the surface they'll be doing what they need to do underneath all right and then lucky last um, is I always throw whoops don't forget to put a mask on so I know you're probably going, Danae, you're confusing us. What are you doing? So every day you use your three pieces. So your cleanser, your exfoliator, and your lotion. Okay, so that is your protectant. It goes on last. Now, anything else goes in between those, okay? So say, for example, you're using, um, you wanted to use your serum, you would add that after your essence so basically go in viscosity so texture wise so cleansers first whoops cleansers first toners hydrosols low anything water base goes second then your serums use all your serums whether you make a glow serum whether you use the art renewal serum anything and then finish off with your lotion or moisturizer last, okay? Just so that you know. Um, and then you would perhaps put on your sunscreen like I do every day. However, if you feel there's too many steps, take some out and do it the next day. And so you don't have to do the same thing every day. I just mix and match depending on what my skin needs, okay? Because I'm working on different things. I'm working on sagging, elastic. I need more elastin, um, puffiness, dark circles. Oh my God, I've got a lot of things going on. Um, so I've got to, you know, use a lot of different things for, for different um, areas that we're doing. All right. Now, when we're talking about um, moisturizer, moisturizers are the protector. So that is what is designed to protect the skin and seal everything else that goes on. So I like this. Um, I love the fact that Young Living made it so it's nice and light um, because when you are using multiple um, amounts of product you don't want them heavy 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 because it's so you know in our environment it gets very hot here um, so these are nice and light so that you can use more than one thing at a time and so why do we use why is this lotion so gorgeous well it contains products like pilly pulp oil so it's sourced from the pilly um farm the happy pilly farm in the philippines um, and it's amazing um, antioxidants protect the skin from free radical damage so remember we're protecting the outer layer of that skin by using products like this lotion that is nice and lightweight but rich in um, in the ingredients that it contains um, it's also got um, red algae in there as well. So you can see we've taken a lot of things from the sea um, because they are water binding agents that hydrate the skin and strengthens the skin's natural protective layer. So you can see we're working on that outer layer. It's also got in there um, the plumeria, plumeria actifolia which is the French penny flower. 
So that comes from um, places like the South Pacific, um, which is um, as a hair and beauty secret for generations that are fast absorbing and hydrates the skin. And so that's what we want. You can see, you know, everything absorbs beautiful. Less is more, by the way, too. Don't go put too much things on there. You don't need uh, large quantities. Remember, everything from Young Living um, is concentrated so you need one small pump but I love the way that it absorbs into the skin um the other last thing um which also is don't forget the eyes all right so the eye area is super super important so I love that we have the wolfberry eye cream and you need a tiny little amount. You just place it on the bottom, on the bone there and around the top. The eye will absorb in what it does. And the reason why we use a, a different eye cream to the rest of the face is that the eye area doesn't contain a filtration system. And so if we use anything too heavy um, and oily, you will develop little globules of fat called milia. So have you ever seen them before? And so that's because the eyes don't have a filtration system. Um, so using your gua sha every day around the eyes will help with puffiness and dark circles and it will help move everything that's sitting under there as well. So there you go, everyone. I'm hoping that you have enjoyed this session. I just love our skincare. I cannot tell you how much it is a pleasure to use plant-based products every day. The smell, the way it makes our bodies feel, the more it makes our bodies look and our skin looks. Um, and I hope you can share that with someone out there. I know you're all beauty coaches. Um, and also too, sorry, um, sunscreen. Let me just quickly tell you guys about sunscreen. Even though you may not always be going out in the sun every day, it is in vital to wear sunscreen. Mine's in my bathroom, that's why it's not here. Um, but I place sunscreen on my face every day. And the reason is, is that... Um, Ours is particularly thick because it has what we call a non-nano particle zinc base, which means the zinc is large enough to use as a protective layer. And remember, we're getting a lot of damage from UV, um, uh, UV damage, whether it's outside or it's inside from the lights. Um, environmental damages and all those sorts of things. And so a lot of the products out there now have an ingredient called oxybenzone, which I did touch on before. And that is a bleaching agent that they were putting in our acne-based products, but they're also putting them in sunscreens. Now, our oxybenzone is what's responsible for the coral reefs um, bleaching um, the animals or the fish now that were female and now become male. So they actually have two uh, um, genitalia. So they actually are being able to change. And that is from oxy oxybenzone. So I want you to do some research on that. Um, and there has been a heap of sunscreens recalled. Some were all the skin, uh, the, uh, you know, the Australian Skin Can the Cancer Foundation, which is just mortifying. Um, and so ours is actually made here in Perth. How cool is that? Um, so use it every day. You know, yes, it does take a little bit of extra time to pop, pop on, but just warm it up, grab a pea size, and then just massage it to each part of the body. Get the kids to do it. Tell them that they don't want to be using that stuff at school, that they're allergic to the one at school, um, and make sure that you pop it all on for the kiddies before they go to school. Um, but please do some research on oxybenzone um, and ours is just brilliant. You can mix it with a bit of moisturiser or foundation and make a tinted moisturiser if you like and you can just use that every day and pop it on. But truly makes a um, huge difference in your skin um, and I know it's definitely a preventative to, um, you know, those are uh, skin skin things conditions out there that everyone's getting so there you go sorry i did forget to touch on that because it wasn't here if it's out of mind out of sight i forget to talk about it so i hope you guys have all um yes and the uh, estro uh, the xeno estrogen effects um that it's all having on the body so by using our skincare you totally eradicate 
things like parabens, fragrance, sodium lauryl sulfates, all the dirty dozen of the chemical world. Um, and that plays a huge impact on our health and our body. So, you know, for me, before I would leave, leave um, in the mornings in the bathroom, I was putting between 500 to 1,000 toxic chemicals on my body before I left um, in personal care products. And that's pretty scary, isn't it? So pick, um, you know, instead of counting calories, count your chemicals um, and swap out your beauty bags and your personal care. And honestly, your body will, you know, your skin will start glowing, you'll feel better. Um, and, you know, we're, we got to turn back time and go back the other way. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you get to take, you know, if you don't mind just in the chat box before you leave, um, please feel free to ask me a question, but just leave one little message um, of one tip that um, stood out to you today and hopefully that you can pass on to someone else because there's others out there are waiting to come on our journey with us. And um, yeah, I really appreciate you sharing this Sunday morning with me.